Hi folks, Max from RootNexus5.com. Um, today I'm going to show you how to update your bootloader to the latest HAZ11K. If you're getting that error, uh, let me show you how to do it. You can do this on Windows, Mac, or Linux. It is very simple to do. Uh, first, what you want to do is power off your phone and put it into bootloader mode. Um, so what you want to do, power it off, hold down the volume down key and the power button. All right, give it a second. And then go ahead and connect uh, that to your micro USB cable, okay? Connect that, and let's go to our computer. All right, next you'll need two different uh, files. First, go ahead and download bootloader-hammerhead-hhz11k.zip file. I'll have the links on my site. I'll go ahead and download that and unzip it. You'll get a folder with this image file. This is the bootloader. And then also you'll need to download fastboot.zip. If you unzip that, you'll get a folder called fastboot. Uh, and inside it, you'll have a bunch of fastboot stuff. Um, what you want to do is copy. Go ahead and do a copy and uh, copy the image file, the bootloader image. And then go ahead and copy it into your fastboot folder. And go ahead and do paste. I already copied it, um, so it's there. And next, we're going to go ahead and open up a command prompt or a terminal. Um, so go to start search here and type CMD. And this will bring up a terminal for Mac or Windows. Um, if you don't know how, just Google it. All right, next, you're going to go ahead and go into the downloads fastboot directory. Um, go ahead and type CD downloads. All right, hit enter. And then type CD fastboot, enter. Um, it is the same for Mac or Linux. Uh, most likely in your downloads folder. Um, it's either called download or downloads. Uh, and uh, most likely unzipped into your um, downloads folder. So it should be in the fastboot folder. Go ahead and type fastboot space flash space bootloader space boot and then hit the tab key. It'll fill the rest of the file name for you. Uh, for Mac or Linux, um, you might have to add dot slash there. And for Mac, it'll be dash Mac, or for Linux, it'll be like that. All right. Um, that's pretty much it. And go ahead and enter. I'll also have the instructions for Mac or Linux on my site, so go ahead and follow that uh, for the instructions there. And that will install the new bootloader. Um, you will be able to now go ahead and install new custom ROMs uh, after, I think, March 18th or something. Oh, or is it May 18th? I forget, but you'll be able to install uh, regardless of bootloader. I'm sure you should be all good to go. And let me go ahead and show you real quick uh, right here. You'll be able to see that it's now on HHZ11K, so you're all good to go. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. That was how to upgrade your bootloader. Um, the reason why you can do this is that that way you don't have to unroot your phone back to completely stock to get the new bootloader. You can simply do this. Uh, anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my site at RootNexus5 for more custom ROMs, tips, hacks, tricks, and I will see you guys soon. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Yeah.